So what we're gonna do today is work on mixing our primary, sec well, mixing our secondary and tertiary colors. So I have my color wheel here, and <clears throat> we're gonna include, of course, yellow, red, and blue, and then the secondary colors, which are green, orange, and purple. As the green moves closer to yellow, it becomes more yellow green, which is a tertiary or intermediate color. As the green moves closer to blue, it becomes more blue-green, what a lot of people call turquoise. And each secondary color has this sort of um, sliding scale of color, if you think of it like that. So you have the violet, and as you get closer to blue, you get more blue-violet, and as it gets closer to red, it gets more red-violet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be mixing our primary and secondary colors and trying to catch some of those tertiary colors, that blue-violet, red-violet, red orange, yellow orange, yellow green, blue green, as we're blending our colors. So I'm just gonna keep my color wheel here. If you are working with your watercolors for the first time, you wanna put a little dot of paint, uh, of water into your paint to help wake up those watercolors just a little bit. And then you can choose any point on the wheel to start. And we're just gonna work from the top to the bottom. So let's say, I, I usually like to start with the yellow, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with yellow at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and wake up my yellow. And I'm going to be adding my color across my paper this way. So I'm gonna go from yellow, uh, kind of a nice wide splotch of yellow here, because I'm gonna be blending that. So I've got my yellow, and I can start adding in my red here, tickle that paint and wake it up. So I can add a little bit of red in, I'm trying to get to the orange, might need a little bit more red here. If it still looks pretty red, you just add a little bit more yellow to it and you'll start to see that orange color start to come up there. I'm gonna wake up this red a little bit more. And I'm gonna keep going like this all the way down my paper. Um, so I've got more red. I don't really, I still don't have, a, oh, there we go. Now I've got some, get some orange color in there. So there's more red, orange, closer to the red. And as I go into the yellow, you can see it becomes a little bit more yellow, orange. Add a little bit of this light, medium, dark. I'm gonna add a little bit more red here. Make sure I get all the way to the edges here. And I'm gonna keep going like that into my next color. So I made it from one primary to the other, so now I'm going into purple, right? I'm going into the violets. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water so that I can add some of that blue to make the purple. And we're gonna keep going in this way as we go all the way down the paper. Starting at yellow, it goes yellow, yellow, red, or, or yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, red, red, violet, violet, blue, violet, blue, blue, green, green, yellow, green at the bottom. So you've got the whole continuum from one color to the other. So wherever you start, if you start with red, it should go all the way through these colors and then end back. You know, yellow would be the next um, step in the process. There you go. Good luck.